So Ed Boon did another Twitter AMA session, and he dropped some pretty interesting news. And I was included in that AMA session, and I wanted to make sure that I asked him a really important question that a lot of us have. And, well, he did give a very clear answer, and we're going to be going over all of the new interesting things that he said on Twitter in this video. The first tweet that I want to bring up is a little bit small, but just a little bit of something. Somebody asked Ed Boon if us NetherRealm fanboys can be expecting something anytime soon and if they're working on another game. Obviously, they are. But Ed Boon says yes to both of those questions. Yes, we could be looking forward to something. Us fans could be looking forward to something in the near future. Doesn't really say much, but hey, that's something. Not really NetherRealm game related, more multiverses related. Somebody asked Ed Boon if we can expect a Mortal Kombat character to show up in multiverses, and Ed Boon says it would be dangerous for him to answer that question. Now, if a Mortal Kombat character was not going to be in multiverses, I don't think this would be the response Ed Boon would give. I definitely think he's implying that if he says anything, he's going to get in trouble. And I think that probably means that there is going to be a Mortal Kombat character in multiverses. Now, there hasn't been any real big news about a Mortal Kombat character showing up in multiverses. There's a bunch of leaks out there, data mine leaks about other characters that are going to be showing up in multiverses. If you guys have been following the news for that and Scorpion or any Mortal Kombat character has not shown up yet, but this is something. This is something from Ed Boon, and I do actually expect, eventually, that we will be getting a Mortal Kombat character in multiverses. I thought a Mortal Kombat character would be showing up in time for the 30th anniversary, but... So I'm thinking, maybe when the next Netherrealm game is released, then we're gonna have a multiverses tie-in. But that's just my educated guess. Now, this one is a little bit disappointing because I was really hoping this feature would be in Netherrealm's next game, but Ed Boon seems to be hinting that tag team is still not going to be a thing in NetherRealm's next game. Somebody on Twitter asked him if he would ever consider bringing tag team back, and Ed Boon responds with, I guess we would consider it, if not for this next game, then perhaps the one after. Now, this is not a straight yes or no answer. Nothing is set in stone, nothing is confirmed, but again, I do think the implication here is that tag team will not be in NetherRealm's next game, which sucks, because Tag Team was a lot of fun. And I definitely think the market for that game mode is more popular now than ever. And I feel like you can capitalize on that by allowing people online to play on the same team. Because in MK9, you couldn't have your buddy online be on your team in Tag Team. They literally had to be in your home with your second controller. If you fix that problem by making it online accessible, then well, Problem solved. You're going to get a lot of players playing that mode, but I guess we're not going down that route. Now, this next tweet makes me happy because somebody asked Ed Boon, yes or no, you're working on Injustice 3, and Ed Boon responds with a gif of no heart rate, which I think the implication is no, they're not working on Injustice 3, which I am so, so happy about. I don't like Injustice. I don't want another Injustice. Injustice sucks balls. Let's go with Mortal Kombat or something new. And this is a pattern that I've noticed Ed Boon is taking when he's asked Injustice 3 questions. He usually just shuts it down a lot, but he really likes to answer Mortal Kombat questions. He may not give yes or no answers. He may be very vague. He could be trolling and all that kind of stuff, but he really likes to focus on Mortal Kombat questions. Here's a couple of examples just from yesterday. All these Mortal Kombat questions. Is Onaga gonna be in the next game? And he says, yes, it's possible. Is Havoc and Chameleon gonna be the next game? And Ed Boon says, yes, you're gonna see them in the future or something like that. I don't really think those tweets mean anything, but you start to notice this pattern of Ed Boon constantly engaging in Mortal Kombat conversations. I really do think the next game is going to be a Mortal Kombat game. And I think a lot of people, for the most part are expecting that as well. Now this next tweet I'm going to talk about is kind of interesting because remember in the last video where I talked about how Ed Boon seemingly kind of hinted that they were working on multiple projects? Well Ed Boon just came out and said we are working on multiple projects and well that's kind of huge news but I do think we should all keep in mind that this could mean anything. 
Number one, we don't know the scale of all of these projects that Ed Boon is talking about. He could be talking about them working on the main game, and another project could be their next DLC season lineup, or their second DLC season lineup, or their mobile game division. We have no idea what this really means, and it's a little hard for me to grasp that they're working on two main games. If they are, that's amazing. But it's still really hard to believe. I believe Ed Boon when he says multiple projects, but again, multiple projects can mean many things. So I still think we gotta wait and see what that means. All right, here's the big one, folks. My question. I asked Ed Boon, can we expect anything for Mortal Kombat's 30th? It's in five days. And Ed Boon responds saying, you will likely have some kind of celebration but it won't necessarily be tied to a new game announcement. And there you go. Ed Boon kind of confirmed what I've been saying and what I have been telling you all. We're not really going to be getting anything on Mortal Kombat's 30th anniversary. When I think Ed Boon means by we'll have some kind of celebration, I think it means the same thing that they did for their 25th anniversary, where they just put out a YouTube video and the devs talked about Mortal Kombat's upbringing and how many years it's been since the first Mortal Kombat game and things like that. And that's gonna pretty much be it. However, this wasn't the only thing Ed Boon said regarding Mortal Kombat's 30th anniversary. He proceeded to answer more questions related to that event this Saturday, by the way, after my tweet, he answered multiple questions asking him if we're going to be getting an announcement on Mortal Kombat's 30th anniversary, which again is this Saturday, and Ed Boon responds with, can't say, which is a little bit weird because he just said to me that there will not be a new game announcement, and he responds to somebody else again saying there will not be an announcement this week. But then he turns around and he says, he can't say if there's going to be a new game announcement on Mortal Kombat's 30th anniversary. Don't you think that's just a little bit weird? I still don't expect a game announcement, but if this says anything, and I'm, this is a case of me looking too much into Ed Boon's tweets, I gotta put that as a disclaimer, maybe, at the very least, this could mean that they're going to tease an announcement coming on Mortal Kombat's 30th anniversary. They're not going to announce a new game. They will tease an announcement of a new game. They may show a random date. They may tweet out a random date that we can look forward to. If they make a little fun YouTube video talking about Mortal Kombat's 30th anniversary, at the end of the video, they might say things like, we're working on something or like, there's things coming in the future or something like that. And I don't know if you guys remember, but this is exactly what they did for Mortal Kombat's 25th anniversary. At the very end of their little 25th anniversary video, they briefly just mentioned that maybe there's something in the future for Mortal Kombat. And that was in regards to Mortal Kombat 11. And well, we have Mortal Kombat 11 and we've had it for three years. So maybe, just maybe, we will get a small tease of an announcement of a new game on Mortal Kombat's 30th anniversary. And if that's the case, fine. I'll take it. I will take it. That's gonna be it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think about all of this news. Do you guys expect some sort of tease on Mortal Kombat's 30th anniversary, which again, is this Saturday? And what do you guys think about the other things that Ed Boon has said? Comment below and let me know. Make sure to follow me on all of my social medias and join my Discord. The links are in the description. See you guys next time.